Hi everyone, this is Autopostrophe. Let's continue our game of Shining Resonance Refrain on Nintendo Switch. The group is attacked by Xella, Georg, and the captain of Beowulf, and the Drakomachina known as Gaybald. Hope fleeing. This man is. Uh, Genus. Who rescues the group? Genus? I forget how they pronounce it. Genus sounds right. Nature's so beautiful, it does much to soothe my heart. We've been spotted. Except when I attack you. How's that? Go! My mother nature! Can you take this? I'm with you. I shall be your opponent. Really? Yeah. Face right in front of him. Go! This is it! Yeah. Yeah. That takes care of that! Yeah. Next. All right. That thing on your neck. That's some kind of magic ward, isn't it? Yeah, it's... sealing something away. Something? Um... What's up? When you said seal just now, Your Radiance, you were talking about the Shining Dragon, weren't you? Yeah. My mom gave me this to keep him... sort of... locked down in there. She said he's dangerous. I see. Perhaps that's why I've been unable to commune with him directly. Something wrong back there? No, sir. Nothing. If you say so. But this <laughs> sealed power of yours... I'd think carefully on its nature. I'd likewise think on the seal's architect. What might have gone through her minds when she created it, hmm? <laughs> Were you eavesdropping? And besides, what... Wait, wait. Back up. You're talking like you knew my mom. Hmm. I am your father. All right. We've been spotted. Let's go. Yeah. Yeah. Ha. How's that? Ha. Ha. That takes care of that. Enemy approaching. The has begun. Yeah, there. How's that? Take this. How about this? How's this? Ha. Yeah, there. How's that? Ha. Yes. Yeah. Hiya. We have yeah. to go. I pushed myself too hard. Did you? You hardly ever do anything. What are you talking about? All right. Let's go. There. Ha. There. How's that? Take this. This is it. 
All right. This should be far enough. We ought to be safe now. Sonia, Rina, are you two all right? I don't think I can move around much, but the haze is starting to clear a little. Oh, dizzy. Sonia is recovering. Rina should be well again if she just rests. We really ought to get them help as soon as we can. If we could just get back to town... Stop. There should be no interruptions here. And now, boy, it's your turn. Huh? What are you talking about? The Shining Dragon. Bring him out. What? How dare you make demands of his radiance! Get out of my way! Uh. Kirika! I... I'm okay. You'll be less than okay if you interfere again. If you don't want to get hurt, stay back. Stop this! Mm hmm? Don't even think about touching them! Childish flailing. You shouldn't try to move while you're recovering. Now, break the seal and summon the dragon. <laughs> well, what, what should, should I, do? I do? There's no way I can beat him. Why do you hesitate? <laughs> hmm. So that's how you open it. Quite the contrivance she's put together. I knew she was skilled, but even so. So you did know my mom? We've met. But where? Please! Enough of your mother. Now we talk about the Shining Dragon. Why he's with you instead of her, I can't fathom. But I'll have my answers soon enough. Release him, now. Or else, I'll just have to coax him out myself. So fast! You're radiant! Whoa there! So it's you. Watch where you're swinging that thing! Genus? Oh, hey, Kirika. Fancy bumping into you. What's this guy's problem, huh? I should hope I don't have to tell you. Please, Agnum, protect his radiance. His radiance? Oh, so this is the guy? Out of my way, Agnum. I'm not here for you. Only the dragon. Yeah, nah, I can't let you do that. I'm not taking another step as long as you've got that sword in your hands, you hear me? You? Very well. I'll cut you down, then return my attentions to the Shining Dragon. Come. Oh, you want to go, huh? All right, I've got time for a round or two. The man whose music burns like wildfire. You know who it is, babe? I'm Agnum Bulletheart, the Pyro Maestro. Get a load of these beats and try not to get burned, kids. Everybody annoying in this game? Uh, Agnum tutorial. Agnum is a dragoner who uses the staff Iglut. He is proficient both at physical and magical attacks. His break attack makes a pillar of fire appear in front of him. The pillar of fire will remain there for a certain amount of time. 
It is effective when placed in spots the enemy will across or when the enemy's weakness is fire. Uh, yeah, why not? I offer you this song. The world resonates in my heart. I call upon the rhythm of nature. My mother nature. You need help? I will be doing so. Like that? I'll finish it. Battles are just <laughs> they're ridiculously over, you know, uh, uh, overpowered. Uh, 
I've died on every single boss. <laughs> Is there no other way? Yeah. 
All right, I'll try it. Right there. Ha! Now it's the end. Totally suck. There's no way you could fight enough to uh, have that battle be. Come on, Genus. Balanced. Let's just call it a day. If we keep this up, one of us is gonna get hurt for real. <laughs> <laughs> As you like. Well, hold on. I didn't think you'd actually agree to that. Why the sudden change of heart? Never you mind. His life was never my objective here anyway. Even if you hadn't happened by. It's not as though I was going to kill him. Maybe if he could see past his own cowardice, I wouldn't have to resort to such dramatics to lure out the dragon. <sighs> but if you dragoneers are so intent on keeping the whelp under your wings, so be it. There might still be time. Yes, I can already hear the strains of the last song. The last song? The hell are you talking about? Don't worry if you watch some Miley Cyrus movie. Farewell. Hey, hold up! And he's gone. Well, that was... a thing. Hey, kid. You okay? I'm okay. Uh... Agnum. I'm one of Astoria's dragon ears. Same as Kirika and Rena. I'm Yuma. It's nice to meet you. Yeah, you bet. Crazy coincidence, though. Contracts from town started drying up, so I figured I'd swing by here, help map the frontier out. Didn't even enter my mind that guy would be skulking around here, too. <laughs> Color me surprised. Honestly, who does that genus think he is? How dare he even lay a finger on his radiance? Yuma, are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. What about you? Can you move? Yeah, I can put my weight on my feet a little. Sorry I'm not being much help. You're fine. If anyone's apologizing, it should be me. I didn't do anything. Just stood there in shock. It's okay, really. Don't hold yourself responsible. I you said I'd help fault. you out. But I've just been dragging you down every step of the way. Yuma. Yo. Maybe postpone the pity party until something actually bad happens? <laughs> Nobody's dead. Nobody got hurt. That's a good day for us. But... We'll talk about your dilemmas more after we hit town, okay? Uh, okay. I can join the party. South then. Back where I came from. All right. All right. We've been spotted. Come at me! There! How's that? 
Sucks everybody stays dead. Well, <laughs> not really motivated to fight then if uh, all my characters are dead. I don't gain experience. And uh, the revives are super expensive. It's like the balance in this game is really off. Right. We've been spotted. Like, you gotta encourage players to keep playing, not discourage them. Not yes. make the path so difficult that uh, they never feel that the reward is worth it. Malgus Cathedral. Which one are you again? Gay Bulg? Heard some guy took you out with one swing. Let us show. A terrifying opponent to engage. But I endure. Was he that strong then? Of course. I am Draco Machina. Dragon kind. For a human to damage me, let alone surpass me, is... <laughs> wow. Surpass, huh? Sounds like you've got it all wrong. Wrong? Explain this word. You speak, but I do not comprehend. Just saying. Doesn't have to be about that guy's strength. Maybe. Maybe it's you Machina who don't have the power. Are you trying to rile me to violence? Huh? Oh, nah. No fun to be had there. Just thinking out loud. Ah, I'm no good with words, and it'd be a pain to walk you through it. Just here. Let me show you. Interesting. Looks like you're all fixed up now, aren't ya? My lady excels grace. Now, what do you wish to show me, mortal? <laughs> Let me make it easy. Not only will I put you down like he did, but I promise it'll only take me one strike! Time to die! <laughs> see? You see now? See just how weak you are? <laughs> Still conscious? I guess I can be a little impressed by that. But it still pisses me off! Just die, won't you? Cease at once! What are you doing? <sighs> oh, the princess. Gabolg, are you alright? Yes. Somehow. To lay low, Gabolg. Your captain said you had a measure of power, but you surprised me even so. Yeah, yeah, whatever. I underestimated the big guy, that's all. Guess he's still a dragon at the end of the day. You present a mystery, human. 
No man, save the Dragon Slayer, should be able to wound this shell. Dragon Slayer, huh? I mean, look, I hit you with all I had, yeah? So, if this Dragon Slayer of yours can hit me even harder than that, he's gotta be a match for me, right? <laughs> You've got to understand, there's never been anyone like that. I've checked. So this dragon slayer... <laughs> I'm getting pretty psyched to meet this guy. <laughs> well, Gyor did warn me that one would be hard to tame. But... Perhaps a lighter touch is called for. Pointed in the right direction, this man may yet prove useful. I doubt it. Man, look at all these characters are just... It's just crappy characters. <laughs> are you supposed to root for anybody? I don't think so. Royal Audience Chamber. I see. That must have been a harrowing experience. Eh, you know, I made it out okay. Uh, well, maybe I like Rena. I'm fine too. But Father, the real issue here is what the Imperial Princess could be up to. Agreed. Ever since Princess Axella arrived, Imperial activity has been on the rise. Mark my words, some foul wind is blowing in. Before this, all they were interested in was fortifying the holdings they already had. We'll be in real trouble if they decide to mount an offensive, you realize. They win the numbers game if they bring everything they have to bear. Do respect, Majesty. Maybe it's time we tap the knights for this. Send them out to the front. I won't risk losing you or yours, Burroughs. Manpower, supplies, information, we don't have enough of any of them. And until we do, the knightly orders are too valuable to throw at a problem so blindly. That's my stance. You know that better than anyone, old friend. Understood. I'll have my boys stick to their guard post for now. Good. The royal order we should keep in reserve. And as for the Wellentine order, the elven knights are tied up maintaining the front lines. We need an alternative. What I propose is a strike team comprised of the Dragoneers and the Shining Dragon. We'll be counting on you as the backbone of that unit, Yuma. Yes, sir. Oh, don't do that. Counting on me, huh? What can I even really do? When Genus attacked me, I froze up. Tapping into the dragon's power was the last thing on my mind. Can I trust myself to handle that pressure again? No, just go home. Man, even Hope manned up faster than this guy. Hey, he must seems pretty down. A lot, a lot's happened. He must be tired. We should rest for the day. Seconded. Mm, I can smell the clean sheets already. I can't wait to put my feet up. <laughs> Rina, if you're going to sleep early today, then I expect you to wake up early tomorrow. Okay, for one, let's go home to the Seagull Inn. Hmm. I don't know, these games' characters better pick up a little bit, or else... I'm not real motivated to finish it. I mean, everybody's kind of insufferable. Hey, take a look! All right! Yes. 
Come take a look. Isn't that the truth? Oh, it's you. You really did it. This is a token of my gratitude from all of us. Please take it. We haven't seen any goblins since, and our lives are so much better now. You're skinny, but I guess you shouldn't judge on by appearances. Oh, I got uh, to tomatoes. Wow, well, I, I do like tomatoes. Well, there better be some really good damn. There better be some really good tomatoes. I mean, that was a lot of trouble. All right. Did you need something? Welcome. What are we making? How much? And done. Just a pinch of... oops. Did you need something? I'll talk to you at night. Being a fangirl. Oh, hi. Welcome. Take your pick. This one? Thanks. Pushes too. Of everything else. This one. Thanks. Nice. Have a nice day. Hello. Oh, did you bring the ingredients? Yep. Huh? Why didn't I ask my mother? I'm keeping this a secret from her. <laughs> I'm going to practice until I can surprise her with a delicious meal. Oh yeah, here's your reward. Thanks a lot. Cane Primulus Sandwich. What's in Primulus Sandwich exactly? Yes! Okay, fine. Back to the end. Hey, Kirika. You want to talk for a bit? I was hoping I could get to know you a little better. Of course. Feel free to ask me anything, and I will answer to the best of my ability. Uh, I wasn't just going to ask you a bunch of questions. I figured we could kind of make some small talk. Small talk? Yeah, like you could talk about something you thought was interesting recently, or whatever. Anything's fine. Very well. I'm not sure I'll be able to hold your interest, but I shall do my best. Wait, is Kirika nervous? Uh, well then. Um, nice weather we are having. What with the warm sun and gentle breeze. Yes, things are just peachy. Um, Kirika, it's nighttime. Huh? M my apologies. It appears this was more difficult than I thought. Yeah, but, uh, <laughs> I wasn't expecting something like this to be what finally makes you panic. I... I was not panicking. I was just a little confused. 
Perhaps. Sh just pretend you didn't hear that, please. Sure, but I'm glad I got to see a new side of you, at least. Do you think we can talk like this again sometime? Huh? Oh, of course. I would be happy to. And I assure you, I will practice even smaller talk for next time. <laughs> you don't need to worry about it that much. I'll be looking forward to it. Yes, as will I. <laughs> Melancholy diva. Huh? Yuma, let's do our best again today. Hmm. Oh, hi. Welcome. Take your pick. Oh, wow. Have a nice day. Is there anything there, huh? I'm still looking at that one too, apparently. I really haven't done much, honestly. She was in town, or she's over here somewhere. Hmm. What's up? Oh, we can talk to him too. Eh, interesting. Something to say? Some kind of cabinet? What's through the door? Ah, Yuma, what's got you in a fuss? Ah, oh, fromage. I found something weird, but what do you think this is? Hmm? This is. Why, yes, indeed. You know what it is? I haven't the slightest. <sighs> but I think I understand the engineering. You see, coins go in here, and you turn this handle, and something comes out, perhaps? The Lucky Egg. You can obtain figures uh, by s spending gold at the Lucky Egg. The figures dispense are, dispense are random, so you may get one that you already have. Try looking up the figures in their respective books by checking the li library when speaking to Emma. Figures. When you obtain a figure, you can view characters and monsters in Emma's library. Library. Uh, you can obtain figures from Monster Drops and the Lucky Egg and Marka. Well, shall we try it out once? Okay, I guess I'll try. Five hundred gold? I don't think so. <laughs> I don't touch I don't anybody touch my egg for five hundred gold. Yes. I don't need like like one gold really. I don't have high standards. Is I could talk to her around here somewhere. around Elmar Greatwood look a little fishy today. Huh? But the Clavel Crags, the weather is as dry as ever. What is she doing? She sure has some unique taste in fashion. Hey, you! Uh-uh, me? Are you interested in the weather? No, you don't need to tell me. You're super interested, aren't you? No, I... No need to be shy. You have to be honest with yourself. Okay, I'll teach you about the weather. Weather. 
Stella is a scholar who studies the weather. She observes cloud patterns and will tell you about areas where the weather has changed. The types of monsters and items you can collect vary according to the weather. Try learning about the weather from her. You may discover something new. See, you learned a lot about weather, didn't you? Um, sort of? Good, good. Then come back sometime, okay? I'll teach you some more, and I'm sure it'll come in handy. Okay, thanks. That room's not that dangerous. The traps are only set to make rocks fall, so it's not like everyone's gonna die. Only falling rocks? Well, I don't know about your your perspective on danger, but can you give me something? Can you give me some more details? What's up, Sonia? You seem pretty serious, and Rinna look as Rinna looks as happy as ever. Why wouldn't I be happy? There's nothing better than my hobby actually being useful for once. We're sending in a team to a nearby ruin. I was hoping I could get a little more information about it before sending them in. That old ruin is like my backyard. Seriously, I know where all the relics and traps are. You really know a lot about this stuff. Too much for it to be just a hobby. You haven't been exploring, exploring them all year, have you? Of course I go all year. I've, uh, if I've got some downtime, I'll go, even if it's just for a day. One day? Are any of them even that close? Yeah, you know that little place south of Marga, right? What? Wow, I had no idea there was a ruin there. It's super small and surrounded by trees. Anyone else would probably walk right by it, but but nothing gets past me. It's small, but it's really cool. It's a really cool sight. It's got all these intense statues, and they're all lined up on these beautiful stone tiles. And the statues are all so ornate. You really gotta see them. I could spend hours looking at those, all those engravings. And this is the weirdest part. The whole place is always clean. It's so well preserved. There's trees everywhere, but no leaves on the floor. Every time it's the same thing. Wherever I go, it's all clean. Like someone's been taking care of the place. So weird, right? It's not weird at all. Somebody is cleaning the place up. Pardon? There's someone who cleans the ruin? But why? And how do you know this, Sonia? Because the people cleaning it are Astorian soldiers. That ruin is the resting place for a, a demon who attacked Astoria. What? Wait, you mean a demon is sealed up there? The place is tight is sealed tightly. No ordinary person could, could get past it. Well, yeah, there was some kind of seal, but it was pretty basic stuff. I got in easy. You didn't break the demon's seal, did you? Oh, um, that, well, I mean, that's probably fine, right? Rinna. I just remembered something. I have to take care of. I'll see you guys later. If the people at the castle ever find out, she won't be able to just laugh it off. I'll have to give her a talking to later. Yeah, don't be so harsh on her, Sonya. I'm straight. Archaeologist. Yay! Oh, my fangirl. Oh, fan service girl. I think I know what you're asking. Don't worry, we can talk a little later. Hi. Hey, take a look. This thing again. All right. Generating over and over again. Ah, there she Hello. is. Hello. Sorry, I already committed to somebody. My, my. Welcome back. Get some rest. Oh, 
What is it? You want something from me? I don't know about that. I just want to know a little more about you, Rena. Oh, I see how it is. You stroll up acting like we're gonna have a friendly chat, but really you're just trying to get inside my head? Well, not inside your head. Huh? No. I didn't mean anything like that. Really, I just... It's not gonna be that easy, Yuma. If you think you can learn all my secrets that way, you've got another thing coming. What? What do you mean? If you really want to know about me, we're gonna have to get closer. Much, much closer. So let's just see how close we can get. Okay, Yuma? <laughs> okay. It still feels like she's playing with my head. But I guess she's friendly enough. Agnum Bullet Heart. Such a wacky name. <laughs> okay, is everybody alive again still? Okay, okay good. Hi. I was trying to go through all that trouble and everybody's still dead. I'm like, wow, uh, literally. How's it going? Okay, your turn. Yeah. yeah. You oh, sure. Bring some pillows with you while you're at it. Oh? Welcome back. Get some rest. Ah, I guess you're all starting pillows. Hey, Yuma. I've been thinking. What? Are you doing something with your hair? I don't know how you get it all smooth like that. Do you mind if I touch it? Huh. Sure, if you want. Sonia, you're a little close. It is smooth. Is this seriously natural? Oh, I'm so jealous. My hair's just all dark and bulky. She smells nice. Is this what all girls smell like? Oh, no. Aw, I wish I had hair like yours. But your hair's so pretty, and it smells nice. Huh? I, um, really? I don't really know how to react when you say it like that. You're gonna make me blush. Oh, um... <laughs> Thanks, Yuma. Thanks? So that wasn't awkward or anything. No, no, it was nice, just unexpected. Night, Yuma. Okay. Good night, Sonia. Scent of black hair. Huh? Black hair have a very specific scent in this world. <laughs> I'm curious. Hello there. Hey. See him? Oh, he's at the castle, that's right. Hello there. What's up? What? You 
just being polite. Okay, sorry. Oh, sorry. Kind of busy at the moment. Hey, Yuma. Perfect timing. I got a question for you. I'm thinking about what to make for dinner. What do you want to eat? Meat or fish? Is fish not meat? I... That's what's bugging you? It's gotta be meat. I feel like fish. Perfect. It looked like they had some fresh yellowtail at the market today. All right, it's settled. We're having Cherokee tonight. Thanks, Yuma. Ah, I got something cool. Here, Yuma. I'll split it with you. Contained fighting charge. All right, let's see what happens with him, huh? He's going to try to awkwardly flirt with them. <laughs> It'll be very progressive if that's, uh, mm. if that's the case with this game. How's it going? Be careful. Welcome back. Yeah. All I do is sleep all day. Good night. Take long strolls at night. Don't really care about the adventure. The kingdom f can fall for all I care. <laughs> what? Did I cancel it by talking to him? Do you not get a night scene? Okay. You know, I probably screwed it up. Let's try that again. And I wonder how many of those you uh, you get to have. Sup? <sighs> oh, it doesn't even let you. <laughs> Why is the option there then? Okay, well, I guess they're not progressive. <laughs> What? Why would he be inappropriate? He's always walking around in these leather pants. Going? Hey, Yuma. Can we talk for a quick minute? What's up, uh, Sir Agnum? Just Agnum, please. And I've got a question for you, that's all. Listen, man, it feels like every time I see you, you're trudging around with the weight of the world on your shoulders. You okay? Huh? I, I appreciate that you're worried, but... Look, if you don't want to open up to some guy you just met, I get it, but the offer's on the table, okay? Bottling that stuff up ain't healthy. Not healthy, huh? I... I guess I can try. And you'll listen? Not really. Of course. Lay it on my ears, man. I've just been thinking about what happened with Genus, I mean. Everyone scrambled to protect me, right? Rina, Sonia, they tried to keep me safe so I could call on the dragon and bail them out. And I just couldn't. It was all I could do to stay on my feet. I squandered the chance they bit and clawed to give me. Uh -huh. Look, that guy's kind of a monster. And you're not exactly a soldier. It happens. He seemed like he meant it when he said he didn't want to hurt them, but if he had, I don't think I could have saved them. And knowing that, I... You're torn up about missing your shot. Yeah, I get how that feels. But think about it. You've got the real live shining dragon inside you, right? The divine lord of all drake kind or whatever. Isn't that a good thing? No, you don't understand. That's exactly why I'm afraid of him. When I hold even just a bit of his power, it feels like I'm damming up the rest. Like it's ready to burst and drown everyone around me if I mess up. Hmm. Guess it's true what they say about power and responsibility. No wonder you're so anxious about calling out to him, though. Like, if losing control of his power is that big a danger. Yeah, he loses control at the drop of a hat. Well, only one thing for it. We can figure this out together, you and me. Really? What is it? Practice, man. You gotta stay in the game if you want to get good. Practice? 
That's right. I bet it's like any skill, you know? Find some place quiet and just jam it out until it's all second nature. Seems logical that the more time you spend practicing with Big Shiny, the less you'll risk losing the reins when you need him in a crisis. Is that how it works? Ah, shut it. You're not gonna know until you try, right? No, it's just... I've never even thought about how I go about, uh... training with him. Well, now seems like a pretty good time to start, I'd say. Come on, at least give it a shot. Uh, okay. Come hit me up during my patrol tomorrow. We can get started then, probably. And seriously, don't worry about it, okay? If you really do go berserk, I'll be there to knock some sense back into you. Uh, all right. An Agnum? Thanks. Eh, thank me when I've done something worth thanking. Maybe once we see some results, yeah? Big brother. Huh? So that's, so that's Agnum, Agnum, huh? I hadn't, I hadn't figured, figured him for that, that type at all. A little overbearing, maybe, but he seems like a good guy. Maybe practice won't be so bad. Huh? What's that sound? Sounds, Sounds like, like Kirika's singing. singing. Listening, Listening to her is so soothing. soothing. Find her song on iTunes and Amazon. <laughs> Yuma, let us speak, you and I, for I have questions. You were faced with strength, yet you cling to fear. You mean when I faced Janus? Yes. That a mortal man could amass such power and go unnoticed is... Rare. Yeah, it felt, felt like he was on a higher plane, you know? Like, like I, I never stood, stood a chance. Correct. As you are now, to cross blades with him again would be your undoing. Exactly. It's like, what can I do? A weakling like me just can't keep up with skills like that. So why try? Self-pity, boy. From where I'm roosting, you may just exceed him, given time. What? Me? Right. Agnum said something like that, too. That if I practice with you and him, then maybe... This thing will take time, but it is a necessary step. Yeah, your mom taught you real crappy, kid. This is my counsel, should you desire it, Yuma. The world will try to make you compromise, to make you change who you are. I urge you to resist. Never change who you are, huh? That... Uh, are you sure about that? Because I thought getting stronger meant... changing. Some souls find strength in weakness. Others, shown strength, become blind to their weaknesses instead. That... Uh, I hear you, but I... I'm sorry. I don't understand. Hmm. And so I am left to wonder. Just what does he seek that he pursues the last song of all things? OP3, Recordanza of Souls, Malgius Cathedral. Hmm. So our task now is to obtain the souls of these world dragons? 
Precisely, precisely. All told, there are four world dragon souls scattered throughout Alfheim. The Shining Dragon aside, we require the souls of the Earth Dragon, the Sea Dragon, the Sky Dragon, and the Dark Dragon. Once those four souls are within our grasp, and the Shining Dragon is ours, then surely His Excellency's wish... ...will be realized. Yes, I see. But how do we find them? My troops are gathering information on their whereabouts as we speak. If I could ask your assistance in this, Princess Excella. Hmm. I suppose that would be efficient. Running off on a scavenger hunt, huh? That gonna be any fun? Zest? No. Let him speak. Zest. Perhaps you would be more interested in pursuing the Shining Dragon than searching for the souls? I don't know, really. Yorg didn't make him sound like much. This Shining Dragon is just some kid. No, I'm not after the Shining Dragon. I want the man who crushed Gay Bulg. Aha. Uh -huh. The so-called Dragon Slayer. That's the one. He might actually give me a real fight. <laughs> Just thinking about it is getting my blood pumping. Unfortunately for you, the man is entirely irrelevant to our campaign. You will have nothing to do with him. You stick to your campaign, military man. If I get a shot at him, it's on. Still, I've got no idea where he is. Man, it could be ages before I get to fight him. As long as I'm stuck like this, I guess I could lend you a hand. Might be a fun way to kill some time. I see. Well then, Zest. You may search for the Dragon Souls at your leisure. But when we have obtained all of them, we will speak further regarding your role. As for the rest of you, your top priority will be to find and acquire the souls of the World Dragons. We cannot tiptoe around my father's age. His time in this world grows short, and we must grant his wish before it is too late. Man, it takes a lot to make Viagra in this world. If we were to lose father now, the Empire would be thrown into chaos, just like the bloodbath ten years ago. We cannot let history repeat itself. It has taken ten years of my father's rule to bring peace back to our Empire. If I may, Princess Excella. Does the threat of civil war truly demand such concern? After all, the power of the Draco Machina ended that infighting a decade ago. Power still at your command, your highness. Georg, I hope you do not mean to insinuate that I alone quelled the rebellions. There are consequences for insulting my father and his achievements. You are not exempt from them. I suggest you speak with more caution. Assuming you prefer your head remain on your shoulders. I meant no offense. Forgive me, Your Highness. I'll be sure to keep your contrition in mind. More importantly, put all available resources toward uncovering the souls of the world dragons. If we fulfill my father's wish, we guarantee the prosperity of the Empire. Understood. Rest assured, the dragon souls will be ours. Indeed. I'm counting on your success. Now, you're dismissed. Hmm. Hmm. You were right after all, Beatrice. The normal approach isn't going to cut it this time. Told you. Well, she's certainly eager to grant the Emperor's wish. <laughs> That obsession should help her sniff out the Dragon Souls for us. Continue your efforts, Beatrice. Tend to Her Highness's every whim. And never leave her side, even for a moment. Oh, I know. I'll handle it. Good. I leave her to you. Not a moment to herself, huh? I guess that means I might run into them again. Never thought I'd see a familiar face here.
I'm sorry. I have to go now. But here, you can have this. Listen. It's a pretty song, right? If you're ever sad or hurt, maybe you can listen to this and feel a little better. I hope I see you again. Bye bye And with that, she left me a music box. After she left, it didn't take long before the music stopped. I remember feeling so lonely after that. I tried to make it play again, but I couldn't. I didn't have the key. She must have forgotten to give it to me. Now that I think about it, she was kind of scatterbrained. When I noticed I didn't have the key, I remember I felt so sad. But then it occurred to me, I'm sure I'll see her again someday. I can just borrow it from her then. For now, I can still remember the melody. That's all I need. Ima? What's wrong? You look spaced out. Huh? Oh, uh, it's nothing. Well, whatever you're thinking about, don't let it get to you, get to you too much. Maybe a walk in the city would clear your head. Okay. Okay. Uh, why don't we stop it there? Uh, this is out of you You've been watching uh, Shining Resonance Refrain on Nintendo Switch. Uh, anyway, I hope you enjoyed watching. I will see you at the next stream.